Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel, and I'm so tired tonight. I'm going to do a video tomorrow, um, but I, what I want to tell you is today is April 22nd, 2017, and I took a little drive today to go to a memorial service for Mr. Um, Godwin and for his family, and I got to the memorial service at the church, which I found... What I found interesting is that I had to get off the freeway at the Babbitt Road. Listen to this, Babbitt Road exit. So if, so if you're from out west in Arizona, you know what the name Babbitt is, right? Um, so I got off the Babbitt Road exit, and then I um, headed over to the church services, um, and there was a bunch of bikers and stuff I could tell at first, and they they were there, and so I um, walked I walked amongst them, and then I got inside the church for the memorial services. But ironically, um, people were saying that uh, only the family members were allowed into the church for the church services. So everybody that was general public had to stand outside uh, and wait until church services were over to meet and greet the family and offer their condolences. So I, I waited around a little while, and I did a couple little videos and stuff, but um, what I want to say, and I waited around respectfully, so please don't judge me, guys, um, and say, oh, gosh, she, she went and was disrespectful because I wasn't. Um, I don't need to be judged. Um, so, But what I do want to say is I took a break from the church, and then I left out, and I ran into a, um, a security. Well, I thought he was just a regular Cleveland police officer, the way he was dressed and everything. But in reality, he was a private security uh, guard, I guess, um, for the funeral possession, procession. But um, I talked with him for a while there, and his name was uh, Eric. I talked with Eric, and uh, he actually offered to take my peace flag and a couple of the humble products into the um, Godwin family and offer it as condolence gifts. So he walked with me to my car, but I saw that he had the, um, the uh, well, I don't know how to say it, but the brochure for the services, for the memorial services and for the cemetery. So I asked to see that, and he let me take some pictures. I didn't get a, uh, uh, I didn't get a brochure myself, So, but um, in looking at that, I have some questions, but I'm just going to let that be what it is. Um, and then I t had to take a break because it was overwhelming going, guys. Um, I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. And it just, the whole situation brought up a lot of, um, how do I say this to you? Hmm. Um, it just brought up a lot of issues for me with the corrupt Illuminati city of corrupt Cleveland that covered up the Cleveland abduction story, which is our family story. Um, Gina De Jesus, Nancy Ruiz. That's my Nancy Ruiz is my cousin, and Gina's her daughter. So they had Ariel Castro's license plate number within 48 hours of Gina's abduction and corrupt Illuminati, polluted politics of corrupt Cleveland, Ohio, covered up that story times 10 torturing years, not just for our family member, but for Amanda Berry and Michelle Knight too. So if they can do that to three young ladies for times 10 torturing years, um, they cover up a lot of other things and they stage a lot of things too in this country. So we have to be very uh, careful what we buy into. We have to be very persistent and assertive uh, and to question, to question everything um, that we are being presented with. And so what I found interesting is that, yeah, I could not go into the church, nor could the general public, which I found that odd. Um, he did have a closed casket. That's what Mr. Eric, the private security service agent, uh, provided to me in my video. You'll see that soon enough. Um, but anyhow, I had to take a break, and I went over to a coffee shop on Lakeshore Boulevard, and I had some coffee for myself just to kind of take a breather from it all. Because it is stressful, it's very intimidating, because, you know, you just never know um, how things are going to manifest and turn out sometimes. So, um, but I didn't have any expectations. I was more trying to operate from a space of faith and not being fear-based. Being faith-based, but not fear-based. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. Again, a shout-out to anyone, anywhere that's affected by acts of violence or terrorism anywhere. 
And um, our sincerest condolences is what I want to say. Um, and so that's what we're all about at forglobalpeace.com. And then um, I just want to say that for the people that are full of drama, trauma, and chaos, and corruption, and cover-up, you know, we, we need to occupy love and peace and truth for all. We need to occupy love and peace and truth for all, always. I'm going to shut off this video. I'm way tired today. It was a full jam-packed day of activism work for Anna Anders. Got to go. And again, a sincere shout-out to the... Uh, Godwin family and our sincerest condolences. And may truth always um, be revealed in every scenario. Thank you so much. Signing off. Bye-bye. Peace out, guys.